Hello everybody, welcome back. Um, I was in the middle of trying to fix a filament loading issue and I figured I'd document the process. I was just about to start inserting the needle into the nozzle to hopefully clear out any blockage. I can't get the filament to load and I'm experiencing the issue that uh, some of you have had with your filament loading as well. So we're gonna do that right now and we're going to insert the needle into the the nozzle from the bottom so the first thing i did was preheat it to 180 also raise it up uh, pretty high so that i can get my hand underneath the needle comes in this little tube that is in the tool kit um, but yeah let's go ahead and try that out And I got the filament in, the one that I'm putting in, but I pulled it out for some reason and then tried again and I just couldn't get, get it back in the second time. So we're gonna just kinda get the needle in there. So they say, I'm just kinda following the video on Anchor's website. Uh, just kinda stick it in there. Twist it around. Just kind of see if you can get any sort of blockage cleared out. Now, how far in does that go? That goes up. That doesn't go as far as where my filament is getting stuck while loading. Um, but let's try it again. So we'll get this up to the thing. Okay, it's up here. It's right here. Yeah, it's getting stuck like right after the button. I don't know why. Uh, let's go to extrude. Go to 180. Extrude. Oh, is that it? That could be it. Like it's getting stuck and it's just like pushing up against something and bending. Let's see. Yeah, so it's like pushing up and getting stuck against something and then it's just bending as I push it. Like that. So I don't know what it's getting stuck on. Let's try cutting it again. Like the first time that I did this, it was super, super simple. And even just yesterday or earlier today, it just like takes some jabbing in. But like now it's getting stuck at this lever. It's not getting past it. I don't know what it's getting stuck on. So I might have to do some taking apart. Maybe look at uh, doing something with the hot end. I don't know. Like it's in, but then it just stops. And I tried to shine a flashlight into it, but there's like, I can't see anything. Kind of looks like there's some silk gray filament. So yeah, I'm gonna take it apart, unfortunately. So I'm at this point so far that I've gotten the silver cover off just by four screws in the back. And then, uh, just popping it off upwards and now I'm going to undo the spring on the lever here so that just comes out pretty clean on its own just a spring attached to the screw which is cool right? that way you don't lose the screw and then I think this just flips forward all right yeah so it does yeah there is a piece of filament in the way. I don't know how I'm going to get that out because it is not heated right now. Let me see if I, oh, I can maybe lift it out. Okay, let me grab my clippers. How did that happen? Oh, I got it, I dropped it. Need to go get some pliers. I really don't want that to be stuck in there. Uh, 
They're very odd though. Oh, there we go. Okay, I don't know if you'll be able to see this. That little piece was stuck inside where the uh, filament is supposed to go in. I'm not sure how that got there, when it got stuck there, but that was in there and that's why the filament was not going in. Well, that is that mystery solved. Let's put this thing back together. So we'll start by just lifting that back up and then we'll get the spring screw into the back and that goes into there. At least this is like not all that crazy complex to get this far. Let's snap back on. I think that's in place. And then now we'll go make sure that you have a good hold on the screw that you're putting in because you don't want to drop it and have it fall into the machine down below. Now before we get too far, let's load up the filament. Perfect. Okay, that went all the way down into the nozzle. I felt it that time. So before it was like hitting that piece of filament, if the hole was here and the piece of filament was stuck here, it was going in, hitting it, and then bouncing back and going backwards into the machine and just getting bent. So now that that is um, in there, we need to actually feed it through the proper way. So that wasn't as terrible as I thought it would be to fix, but it's still hopefully not a common occurrence. I think maybe I've just been retracting the filament too hot or something. Um, I've been doing it at like 200, just because that's where it sets it by default. But in the videos they say 180, so maybe I'll start doing 180 and see if that prevents it from happening again. Uh, that's all the way in, let's power it on. Let's see, let's go into uh, uh, control, extrude. Okay, let's go 180 and we'll extrude. We'll let that heat up. And here we go, it heated up and there we go. There's our extrusion. Wow, that is a big glob of stuff right there. That was what came out of the nozzle at the beginning. But it's fixed now, we got the thing out, and we have white coming out now. So let's extrude it one more time. And there we go, there's our filament. Cool, and there we have it. That is how we unclogged our filament load, and hopefully you don't have this issue, but if you do, here's a good way to fix it.